Deciding what your niche is could be the most powerful thing that you ever decide in making a business and trying to make money online. Hey guys, it's Philip Watley with Life Without Boundaries. Today we're gonna to talk about picking a niche and what your niche is going to be. But first, if you're new to the channel, this is the channel where we talk about making money online, building business, and other things like that. And if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to let you know when we release new videos. So what is your niche? And what even is a niche? For those of you that don't know, a niche is like a specific area or category or market that you decide to focus in on so that you can maximize your sales and you can really be a lower competition in an area. Everybody deserves to have a place where they find like they belong and a place that they can feel that they can be successful. Finding a niche for your content or your brand or your products is the most powerful thing that you will ever do in marketing. This will let you laser focus in on an audience and really capitalize on making sales in a low competition area. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you three niches that are the best that you can go into. So if you're interested in any of these niches and interested in learning about any information, these three will be something that you can go into and they're the mo considered to be the most lucrative and the most successful. As an entrepreneur, building your brand is super important. And building content around your brand is a huge part of what you do and who you are as a business owner. Your content is the foundation of any entrepreneur's business. So there's a problem with not really focusing in on a niche. If someone is too broad, then your specific audience might not view you as like the authoritative figure or the one-stop shop for what you're talking about. For example, if I do uh, products on health and fitness and then also I do uh, products on business. You know, the business people will come to me from a business content that grabs their attention, but then they're going to see the health and wealth stuff and they're not going to really be interested in that. So it's really important that you focus in on one thing that, uh, that you really are passionate about. And that brings me to my, my next point. Being passionate about something is a very good start, but it's not really the whole picture. What you really need to do is try and find something that you're interested in and also something that can be marketed and profitable and something that is very lucrative. When you specify on a certain thing in a certain area, you gain loyalty with your customers because they come to expect exactly what you're talking about in your content and through your sales pitches and things like that. While picking one thing may seem limiting at first, it's actually one of the most practical things you can do with your business. So on top of something that's interesting to you or something that you're passionate about, you also have to consider how practical it is. Does it take a lot of resources to get started in this niche? Uh, does it require lots of time investment and resources to uh, learn the things that you need to learn that your audience is gonna want to hear? Is the product you're gonna, you're gonna sell require you to purchase in bulk and to invest a lot of money into it? That's something you really need to consider when you're picking a niche. So you have to think, what's the easiest thing out of all the things that you're interested in that you can market or that you can talk about and present content to that won't wear you out and that when things get hard and, and life comes crashing down on you, that you won't have a hard time uh, continuing to put out the content because perseverance and determination and consistency are really what's gonna be important when delivering content to your niche and to your audience. So whether you're into cars or boats or video games or vintage items or montages or car crashes or just anything, there's so many niches out there that people are delivering content to and making money. I mean, if you just look on YouTube, people have channels just completely dedicated to just animal noises and things like that like and they're and they're being successful they're getting uh the views that they need and they're getting monetized just for ridiculous things because 
there's very specific niches and they're getting down to very specific things that may not be popular overall, but there's not a lot of competition and the people that are interested are subscribing and they're reading the blog posts and they're buying the products and things like that and that's where you want to be. You don't want to be somewhere that's oversaturated uh, and you also want to be in uh, a place that uh, is very lucrative somewhat. If you don't, if you go somewhere with no business at all, you can't expect any marketing techniques or anything to work like that. Now the three niches that we talked about at the beginning of the video that are the most lucrative and considered to be the most successful are um, health, wealth, and relationships. Now these three niches, the reason they're so successful is because there's always going to be a demand for them. Uh, people are always going to want to know new ways to be healthy, to lose weight, or to look thinner, and things like that. So it's always going to be there. And so the market's never going to go away. The same thing for wealth. People are always going to look for ways to make more money, to make an extra side income, to work from home, and learning uh, courses and classes and information to... Uh, to solve those problems. And for relationships, people always have trouble with relationships. And there's always gonna be people that want to improve on themselves and how they interact with people or dating advice or being loyal and trustworthy and things that'll help them do that. Those three are very lucrative and very, uh, someone says evergreen niches that will just always continue to grow and there will always be a demand for it. So if you're interested in any of those uh, niches, that would be a good place to start. And even getting specific in those niches can be very good for you as well. Like if you are in the um, the wealth, if you are in the wealth niche, you can just uh, be very specific on investing in stocks or you can uh, focus on just working from home and passive income and things like that. Or you can focus on marketing specifically. Or even smaller, just a specific type of marketing like digital or uh, affiliate. Those are all kinds of ideas that you can do in the wealth niche. Now in the health niche, you can focus on health products like supplements or diet uh, drinks and things like that. Or you can focus on uh, muscle building or weight loss and those are all smaller niches in the big evergreen niches that can be very profitable to you. So I hope that helps you pick out a niche. If Once you do that, why don't you go ahead and check out my affiliate marketing videos because then it'll tell you how to use those niches to build a business and to make profit through affiliate marketing online. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.